Hi, I'm Christopher Dunnigan. This is Handmade in Vermont.com, and today we're talking about the Hubberton Forge Reach table lamp. This is the 272860. It's also a floor lamp. It's the 232860. Check that out too because they go well together. Let's get into the size of it to begin with, and we're going to talk about the height, and that's going to be total from the table to the very top, 21.9. And the width on this is really how far out it's going to come, and that's 15.4. The depth is really the shade at the end of the day, and that's 7.5. So that's kind of the width as well. So it's coming in at 7.2 pounds, so it's a pretty good weight. Um, let's talk about the shades on this pretty quickly. So you're going to have two different fabrics available for this. You're going to have natural white anna, which is a true white, and it's a nice weave. It's very pretty. It's going to let a lot of light through, but it's also going to be able to reflect light because the inside of this has a reflective coating on both the flax and the natural white anna. The other one's going to be called flax, and flax is an off-white, um, kind of a whisper of a gray or a light barley. So you'll notice on the page for this, on Handmade in Vermont, there's a template that says you can order samples of these things. You're going to see there's a lot of things on there, but if you want to order samples for this lamp, just order the two, the flax and the natural white anna. We put them in an envelope, slap on a sticker, a stamp actually, and uh, they're off to you pretty quick and it's free so you might as well do it right okay base on it is 7.5 inches and let's talk about lamping on this it's going to be using an a19 bulb and that's a standard size light bulb we grew up with if you guys want to do incandescent you can still do that up to 100 watt bulb and that's quite a bit it has an on off dimmer on on this um, it's on the base and it just simply does what you think it clicks on clicks back off goes up full power goes down so you can still use, like I said, an incandescent bulb. But you know what? I would probably just go for the LEDs because they're so good now. This is a regular standard LED. This is kind of the old school type of LEDs. And this is a bigger one we'll touch on as well as this one is too. Uh, this is the new phosphorus one. It's got all those kind of cool orange things inside. So when you get into LEDs, the the rule of thumb is going to be use whatever you like that can physically get into the lamp itself. It's really going to be up to you because they don't generate heat, they generate light, they use very little electricity. Um, this is like I said a standard size and I think this is just a like a GE LED, <clears throat> maybe a 60 watt equivalent. But this is an A9, actually that's an A19, this is an A20. So this A20 can go up to 100 watt equivalent easy. I have found these up to 150 watt equivalent. And then our big friend here, which it may actually get kind of close to the edge of the shade on this, but you know what? They're very inexpensive. If you run into one, you can try it out. This is an A21 bulb, it's a little bit bigger. I found these up to 150 watt equivalent to 200 watt equivalent. So you can get a lot of light out of this if you need to. I would probably hit Home Depot or Lowe's or one of those places, uh, True Value Hardware Stores, and pick up a couple hundred watt equivalents. I think those would probably work very well for you. Make sure they're dimmable. It's going to be really important because, you know, as you know, there's a dimmer on this fixture. The color of the temperature of the light is going to be pretty important to you as well. They're going to offer these bulbs to you in 2700 Kelvin. That's a super yellow light. They're also going to offer these bulbs to you in something called daylight, which sounds like it should be warm, like sunlight, but it is not. It is a bluish white light, like an overcast day or a hospital waiting room, something like that. And that's that 4,000, 5,000 Kelvin on that Kelvin scale. What we like to use in our showroom is warm white or soft white LEDs, and those are 3,000 Kelvin. They're just, just what we like to use here, and they mimic the light of an incandescent bulb, so it's a nice warmth. As a matter of fact, it's a light coming down on me from the LEDs above, so that's what we like to use here. Let's get into metal finishes now. If you are on the handmadeinvermont.com website, look over in the red tabs with the pictures in them over there. You're going to see a finishes help guide tab. Open that up for me. It's going to be a video there of me talking to you guys about the differences in Hubbardson Forge finishes, how they can look on different types of forging. I'm going to be referencing a chart just down below. So scroll down a little bit. You're going to see a chart. You can click on that chart. So you can click on dark smoke. You can click on soft gold. Doesn't matter. Big page will pop up showing lots of different things in that finish. You can go back to the chart and you'll notice there's letters A's on them, letter B's on some of those things, and that's going to be showing you this range of variants that you can expect to see on different translucent finishes, but I'll talk about all of that in the video, okay? Okay, showroom. Our showroom in Vermont has over 400 Hubberton Forge fixtures. This is the biggest showroom in the world at Hubberton Forge. No other showroom is like this. Hubberton Forge doesn't even have their own showroom. They use this one. Uh, what's on display? We have a great tab on that. On, in those same red tabs, you're going to see a what's on display page. So open that up. It's going to show you everything we have on display and including which finish, which shade, 
all of those things and what kind of glass is on there. We're open every day except Sunday, 11 to 6. I'm here every day except Sunday from 10 a.m. to 6 p.m. Eastern Time. We also have an amazing clearance center. Clearance center stuff is 75% off MSRP. It's returns, discontinued stuff, showroom samples. You have to come here to use it. Can't call us or email us about it, but it's definitely worth coming in to look at if you're in Vermont. Plus, you want to use the showroom anyway because there's just so much great stuff here to see. Our number in Vermont, 802-446-2400. You can email us seven days a week, 24 hours a day. Love to answer emails, and it's sales at handmadeinvermont.com. So when you order from handmadeinvermont.com, shipping is going to be free to every state except Alaska and Hawaii. No tax if we ship out of the state of Vermont. And we're the only dealer with 90-day returns, no restocking fee. Nobody else does that. Some larger items are going to be non-returnable. It's going to be really important that you are looking at the fixture on that page and kind of scroll down under, under the description. It'll tell you if that is the case. And that's usually for really big, giant, huge fixtures, mostly that go out on pallets. Okay, that's it. Rush program. Let's talk about that. So rush program. Hubbardton Forge generally takes about three to four weeks to go out the door. That's production time before your transit time. You always have to add that on, too. We offer a rush program that takes you from that three to four weeks down to a little under two weeks, it's it's a very small addition per line item. So if you have like one, two, three items, like let's say three or four outdoor sconces, and they're all the same size, and they're all the same finish, that's one line item. So it's very inexpensive to rush those kind of things. Don't be afraid to email us and ask about that. Okay, so that's really it. If you guys have any other questions, let us know. We would love to see you in our showroom sometime. And thanks for stopping in.